Hey, super scientists! Before we blast off into today's brain-bending experiment, remember to click that subscribe button for more mind-blowing science with Learn With Mirel. We're about to embark on an intriguing journey, diving right into the heart of our everyday world. We're going to uncover the hidden superpowers that make everything around us behave the way it does. From the sturdy chair you're sitting on, to the refreshing glass of water by your side, Everything has a secret to share. Today, we're detectives on a mission, cracking the case of matter's secret properties. Imagine building a sandcastle that's using solid sand that keeps its shape no matter what. But what if you pour that sand into a bucket? It changes shape to fit its new home, just like a liquid. And what about air? That's a sneaky gas filling any space it can find from the biggest room to the tiniest crack. These are what we call the three states of matter, solids, liquids, and gases. Each has its own special way of behaving. Solids are the shapeshifters, keeping their form no matter where they are. Liquids are the adaptable ones, changing their shape to match their surroundings. And gases, they're the space hogs, spreading out to fill any space available. But here's a fun twist to our story. Did you know there's even a fourth form of matter called plasma? It's found in stars like our sun, super hot and glowing. Hold a magnet near a pile of nails. Watch them jump like magic. That's magnetism, a property that lets some materials like iron be best friends with magnets. Now imagine a spoonful of sugar melting into a glass of water. Poof, it vanishes. That's solubility in action. Sugar is soluble in water, but oil, not so much. Pour some in and it just floats on top. Next up, we've got density. Ever wondered why a bowling ball feels heavier than a ping pong ball of the same size? That's because it's denser or more tightly packed. And let's not forget conductivity, the superpower that lets some materials like copper wires carry electricity. Last but not least, there's heat transfer. It's like a cozy, invisible blanket that keeps you warm on chilly days. So whether it's magnetism, solubility, density, conductivity, or heat transfer, there's a whole detective kit of properties. Density tells you how tightly packed something is. Conductivity lets things like wires carry electricity while heat transfer helps keep you warm in a cozy sweater. Think of two balloons, one filled with helium, the other with air. The helium balloon floats because it's less dense, like a fluffy cloud in the sky. Density, you see, is all about how much stuff is packed into a certain space. The helium in the balloon is lighter and less packed together than the air around it, allowing it to rise. Now let's take a pebble and a cork and drop them into a glass of water. The pebble sinks, but the cork floats. Why is that? Well, even though the pebble is small, it is quite dense, meaning a lot of material is packed into a small space. The cork, on the other hand, is less dense with more space between its particles, which lets it float on water. Water also plays a density game. If you're denser than water, like a rock, you sink, but if you're less dense, like a life jacket, you float. It's all about the density party happening in the water. Let's say you're building a boat for your teddy bear. Would you choose wood or a sponge? Wood, right? It's sturdy and floats well, perfect for a teddy sea adventure. But if you're making a comfy bed instead, a sponge is your best bet. It's soft and squishy, just right for a good night's sleep. Choosing the right material for any task means understanding its superpowers, or in other words, its properties. Now go out there and use your new knowledge, super scientists.